Folks were learning the identity and seeing some pictures of the 10 year old boy killed in a kayak accident in the Yellow Breaches Creek. This is the GoFundMe now for Matthew Cawforth Jr. and it has raised more than $10,000. Elise Person has been on the scene all day after first responders gave an update saying they had found his body. She joins us now with the very latest. Elise. Hi, Jasmine. Well, the coroner tells us that Matthew Cofferth Jr. was originally from Lancaster County. Now, the coroner arrived to the scene around 830 this morning, and that's where they were able to recover that body. He originally entered the water about a mile upstream from where I'm standing right now. When we were here earlier today, we actually still saw some crews removing debris from the water right here. But like I said, the search for that 10 year old boy is now over. There was approximately 250 responders from two states and seven counties that assisted in the search for this missing child. The multi-day search coming to an end after the body of a 10 year old boy was recovered from the Yellow Breaches Creek. It was at the beginning and in the area of the debris pile that we had been searching for the last day. This all started Saturday afternoon when the boy, along with six other members of his family and friends, set out kayaking. A short time later, his kayak hit heavy debris. He went under and did not come back up. I was told that the, the, the family and the child had previously kayaked, that this was not the first time they had ever been out on the water. Officials say the boy's family was there throughout the search as well as when his body was recovered. They provided us information that we used to help search, uh, such as uh, type of clothing that he was wearing, um, such as uh, where he was last seen, the conditions of the water at the time. Uh, so while they were not actively searching along the creek with us, they were providing the infor information for our trained individuals to be out there searching. Now, the PA Fish and Boat Commission is going to be taking over this investigation. They say they're going to be determining whether or not that boy was wearing a life jacket when he entered the water. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Elise, did they talk about when we should or should not be going out on water? Right, so the PA uh, Boat Boat and Fish Commission tells us that, you know, there's no blanket statement to whether or not you should go on the water. They say that it really depends on your experience and what the water looks like. So if you're not as experienced, you should be looking at if the water is murky and how quickly the current is moving. But like I said, there's no blanket statement for whether or not you should be entering the water.